At only one atom thick, graphene is a million times thinner than a strand of human hair. It's no surprise then that finding everyday uses for this super material has required significant funding and draws on the expertise of some of the world's top academics. This material has a, a unique set of properties in terms of strength, electrical conductivity, thermal conductivity, interaction with light and so on and so forth. And for this reason, both the United Kingdom, the European Union, uh, China, Japan, the States, everywhere in Europe are putting significant investments to try to exploit the properties of this material. The scientists here coat copper with a graphene and silicon solution. The new material then forms part of a battery cell that faces a rigorous testing system. We want to know the capacity of the material that we've made and also we want to know the cycle life. That's really important. Thousands of cycles and that, that's our goal. The flexible properties of graphene mean there are few limitations on its potential uses. The challenge here is to have a battery that can be integrated in a textile and potentially could be integrated on the surface of a skin. With so much global investment, there's big pressure on researchers to bring graphene to market. If we don't reach some key initial applications in the next six years, I think the mater this material will be under a lot of scrutiny and may not find further people uh, interested right in it for the long term. At the moment, I'm very positive for the next four or five years. And then uh, we can speak in 2024 and see what happened by then. Thank you for watching and for more from CNBC International, just hit the subscribe button.